I'm at the uh, College for Creative Studies in Detroit, Michigan, with Stefan Silov. Stefan, you just gave a, a speech to probably a couple hundred uh, kids in design. Maybe not kids now, they're college students. Right. What did you think? Well, what I liked very much, of course, is the fact that the kids were able to sit down for one and a half hour to he and hear all the stories I, 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 I proposed and, and have shown and presented to them, but on the other side I was also very impressed by the questions. So the dialogue after the presentation was very interesting for me. What was one of one question that really inspired you the most with these, ch these college students? Uh, I think the, the question, or maybe also the critical question of what is going to happen in the future with car industry in relation to the ecological situation worldwide, what is what are the next steps car industry is doing and how are designers able to support and to push these ideas. And what was your answer? Um, of course the answer is not so, so simple or so easy, it's a very complex uh, situation, but I think with the help of new uh, prop propulsion technique like the, a new powertrain or a dramatic change in the powertrain will also give a let's say more dramatic possibility to the designer to do the next step in the architecture and the proportion of cars. You, Audi is investing ten and a half billion dollars in plants and technology. Are you going to see some of that in your design area? Yeah, definitely. Um, we we um, we still believe. We need a small team of, of people, a very family kind of organization, not to blow it up and make hundreds and thousands of, of team members. It's also for me personally much better to still have the, the overview about maybe 200, 250 people, but step by step we are building up the team because also the, the, the product family is growing. Mm -hmm. But we also are investing a lot into the processes we are working on. So we are working a lot with virtual processes that help us to um, work more in depth, not om always faster because our process time-wise is almost the same. We always need around five years to develop our cars. So, but to make a, a higher quality with uh, especially digital or virtual uh, uh, process steps and uh, tools, mm -hmm. and therefore you also need to invest money. That's very, very important. Henrich Tim designed the aluminum space frame for Audi. Right. Uh, was it easier then to design a car, or did that make it more difficult with, with an aluminum frame? Um, when, the, when Mr. Tim and uh, the members of his team started 25, 30 years ago to, to work on the aluminum space frame, um, I think even at that time the, the dialogue in between designer and uh, engineers happened very, very early. And remember when we did the second generation uh, aluminum space frame for the A8 and also the aluminum space frame for the A2, um, we talked a lot to each other. Also the engineers talked a lot to us from the very, very beginning. How do we have to change the construction to fulfill all the necessities for you as a designer and vice versa? So it's always the interaction in the very early stage of the process in between the engineers and the designer to create an overall art statement in the end of the day. So the, I think the quality of the product in the end of the day shows in how close and how early everybody is talking to each other in the beginning of the process. And um, I always appreciated this at Audi, this very open family atmosphere not to squeeze problems away until they explode, but like in a good family sitting down on the kitchen table talking about these things very early. You've been with Audi for 27 years? Right, I started as a student 27 years ago. But what inspired you to go into the design of automobiles? Um, I'm think I, I'm, I'm not the classic car designer. I started as an industrial designer as a student at the uh, design college in Munich and I had a kind of key situation. There was uh, Chris Bengel and uh, Gerd Hildebrand. Gerd Hildebrand is uh, now head of design of MINI. They were quite young designers at that time. 
and they presented a, a very nice project, a project at our uh, design uh, college. Uh, they did an Opel Junior, it was called, and I personally was so impressed. I said, ah, I want to do this kind of business these guys are doing. Car design at that time it, in, in Germany was still a very, let's say, rare discipline. So I was fighting a lot to go into car industry as a designer and to learn how to do all this. Uh, but the, 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 the key, the key uh, initial uh, ignition, let's say, altogether was this uh, presentation like I did today. These guys did this 28 years ago at the Munich Design College. It's come full circle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Stefan, vielen Dank. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs>